let's go. I am armed with all of the supplies that I need to wrap all of these gifts. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as humanly possible because I have a baby that needs me. I found these gift tags from Target, $3, yeah. Uh, really great 50 count. I tried to go to home goods, but I just couldn't make time for it And you know what earlier in the season I was there and I thought I should just get some now and I didn't and that's what happens when you don't do things when you see them I was at where was I Marshall's and I saw this really cute wrapping paper because it's all in the details, right? I have to share the wrapping paper with you first by the way um, hey, what's up? Thanks for wrapping gifts with me. Are you wrapping gifts right now? <gasps> Are you a procrastinator like me? I tried to get it done earlier. I just couldn't. Anyway, it's all in the details. These are the gift wrapping papers that I found. I thought these were so stinking cute. I got a lot from Sam's Club this year, but I couldn't pass these up. I know the ones at Marshall's, the fa la 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 la. And it's glitter. Oh, I love it so much. These are really good quality. The ones at Kirkland are good quality too. Oh, I almost forgot. These are double sided. That makes me real happy. And of course, they're, you know, kind of matching too. So that's really nice. So that's one set. This is another set. And I definitely am not going to run out of wrapping paper. <laughs> she says as a question. And then of course I was at Target yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, I need tape. So grab some Target style tape, the Up and Up brand. You guys, this tape, they tried to get me, okay? They had a three pack of scotch for like $4.50. This roll was $2.99. And so I was like, oh, three rolls, then that's perfect. No, because you get twice as many in this roll as you did the three. It was crazy. So of course I went with those. I have more downstairs if I need it. I don't think I'm gonna need it because do you know how many how much tape comes in here? 19 yards. That's wild. But I am gonna put it to the test up against Scotch brand tape. So we're gonna see which one wins. Of course I brought a pen. Let's see how many times I lose that. I need scissors. Yes! Thank the Lord, I am so organized, and I kept this up here from last year. Haven't moved it, because I knew if I did, I would forget where I put it. Even though I have like a gift wrapping um, container, it's supposed to be for wrapping paper, but the wrapping paper rolls are just too big to fit in there, so I put gift bags in there. But guess, I also got something from Ikea like a year ago and never put wrapping paper in it because I can't find it anywhere. I feel like it was before we moved I bought it. So more than a year ago, which is nuts. Anyway, the scissors I'm using, which I'll probably lose 100 times, but this is the real MVP of wrapping gifts. It's called an elf or something like that, but um, you cut the wrapping, oh my gosh, it's so, it glides. I used it for the first time last year. I was like, let's see if this works. It actually is amazing. So I love it. it mine came in a pack of two. I'll link it below if you're interested in it. If it performs as well this year as it did in previous years. I'm gonna gather a whole bunch of gifts and uh, just start wrapping away. Okay, I'm gonna wrap Meredith's gifts first. And you know what? Dang, I got so many kids. So when you look at all of the gifts together, I'm like, holy crud, is this KB Toys up in here? Is this Toys R Us exploded? But when I look at them separately, I'm like, is this all that I got, Meredith? Right here, is this all? You know what? She's gonna be happy with every single one of these. Our house is full of toys. She doesn't need any more toys. She's gonna be so happy with the things that we do with her toys, right? That's what it's all about. Kids spell love, T-I-M-E what wrapping paper is going to be for her. And now I have trouble with this because like obviously these are the cuter ones. I typically do like one wrapping paper per child, which is why the double-sided wrapping paper is just so amazing. But also, I really like this wrapping paper and I should have bought older ones. You know what, this year I'm just gonna go wild and uh, wrap them however the heck I want. They're gonna have their name tags on them, it'll be fine. This is just so cute. I feel like last year when we were wrapping gifts, I watched Titanic, <laughs> which is not a Christmas movie. It's not like Die Hard where it's not a Christmas movie, but kind of is. Like Titanic is not even close, right? Why was I watching Titanic? Whoa, what is happening? What the heck is happening? Oh, are these just sheets? What? Do you see what, do you see this? Never in my life have I ever unrolled a wrapping paper and there's like, like what? I'm not doing anything crazy. Oh, oh, okay, well this is a waste of money. They're just sheets. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, well, hooked on bombing. Failed me again. All right, well, okay, well, that, that. Three sheets. I changed my mind, this is miserable. Let's see if a big one fits. 
Okay, so we are watching Titanic. And I know typically people would throw on a Christmas movie, you know, like normal people. This wrapping paper is so cool. So I'm wondering what your go-to Christmas movie is. Please, if it's Christmas Vacation, say something else. I watched that movie for the first time in my adulthood. Just the whole time I was like, ah. I don't know, not for me. Even watching Home Alone as an adult, I'm like, oh my, what? First of all, what did that man do for a living to afford a house that looks like that? Impeccable. Also, how do you forget one of your children? And then be mad about the hotel bill? Oh, that's Home Alone 2, Lost in it, which is my personal favorite. But anyway, that's like childhood trauma at its finest, right? Okay, I'm gonna cut some of this because surely I can use it for a little gift. I am definitely a professional. A couple new Christmas movies came out this year. Spirited, which we tried to watch. Alex has known that you know, we've just been so busy with all the birthdays and the baby and obviously all the Christmas festivities. He knows that I really like watching Christmas movies and I have yet to be able to watch one this year. So the other night he was like, do you just want to fall asleep to one? <laughs> so nice. And so he tried to put one on for me. Took us like 15 minutes just to find, because we were looking for a specific one called Spirited. And I guess it's the new Will Ferrell movie with Ryan Reynolds, like who doesn't like Ryan Reynolds? Blake Lively, come on, does she make a cameo? But it's like a musical, so I was really excited to watch it. Apparently you have to have Apple Plus to watch that, which we do not. And I was like, we are not getting another streaming service. This is getting out of hand, we have a million. So if you've watched it, you let me know if you've seen it because I'm really interested to know if it's any good. I feel like, oh my gosh, I did turn on the Lindsay Lohan one the other morning and then just got completely distracted, wasn't able to even catch three minutes of it. It's hard, how do people find the time for anything? Like how do people binge watch shows? I just, how? Okay, what I'm gonna do with these is just fill out a bunch for Meredith. I'm actually gonna count. Someone one time suggested that I fill out the tags and that way I won't have to like search for my pen every time I need to fill it out or I'll stop my, you know, process of going through. It just makes things a little more streamlined, a little easier. So here we go. Now I'm wondering if these are just pre-cut. Three heavyweight sh Let's get the out. Why did I waste my money? Uh, thank you Costco for always coming in clutch and nice and traditional. Speaking of traditions, do you guys do anything specific like family traditions every year? Uh, Wentworth had a school project, he's in kindergarten. So this year they shared, they did presentations and shared their family, their holiday family traditions. And he did his on popcorn. <laughs> So if that tells you anything about the level of parenting we're at. <laughs> but for Christmas Eve, uh, you know, obviously we spend a lot of time with family around the holidays as much as we can. And you know, Alex has a lot of family members because it's like his, hers, and theirs. So that's a lot. Uh, a lot of driving around, a lot of going, going, going. Also a lot of fun. It's a lot of everything. Ooh, hold on. Let's roll it. So smooth. So that's what a lot of our Christmas Eve typically consists of is just, oh my gosh, this is a lot. It's not as heavy weight as the other ones. Of uh, driving around, doing all of that. But also we like to make cookies. Okay, here's this thing, ready? Steady. Amazing, love it. Every time, can't do that with scissors. But I also need scissors for this way. We also get a visit from Santa and Mrs. Claus. Alex's granddad reads the night before Christmas to the kiddos. So that is just like a sweet, special thing that happens. And they've been doing that since Alex was a kid. So I just love that. I think it's awesome. I'm all about the desserts. If you have a Christmas Eve get together, it better consist of more desserts than actual food. Because isn't that what the holidays are all about? Sugar? Way back when I was a better mom than I am today, <laughs> I put together like Christmas Eve baskets, like when that was a thing coming on the scene. I feel like that was several years ago. They were really cute. I put together like reindeer food and hot cocoa packets, popcorn, stuff to watch a movie, but we're so busy like running around. We come home Christmas Eve and like it is pe way past bedtime. Oh my gosh, barely made this one. How did that work out? 
you want me to make you feel a little better about your life, I just got my Christmas card sent out yesterday. For a while there, I wasn't sure if they would turn into New Year's cards, and they basically will probably make it there by New Year's. But at least I got them in the mail. That's what I kept telling myself. At least they're, even if I didn't send them out until the new year, I know that at least I got them in the mail. It was, it was a struggle this year for sure. But to finish them off, I had Eleanor help me out and that was awesome. Well, I'm three down and I'm feeling like I need a snack. But I must power through, just get as much done as possible. already what is your family tradition if you have something special I'd love to hear about it we also like to drive around and look at Christmas lights that's special hot cocoa you know not quite oh gosh why am I using normal feathers like a like a normal person I don't know. anyway I have found driving around looking at Christmas lights fantastic without cocoa hit or miss especially with the little ones are they gonna spill it? Are they gonna burn their tongue? Am I going to be able to drink mine before it is lukewarm, borderline, ice cold? That's always a no. We are hosting uh, Christmas Eve. Well, we have a lot. We're going to two other places. Whoo! But we're also hosting something. So I'm hoping to have a hot cocoa bar. So follow me on Instagram and you'll see that. I probably won't video it because there'll be too much going on, but I will share it on my Instagram if it comes to fruition. And I asked you guys what the best, because I tried to make hot, crock pot hot cocoa. It didn't turn out very well. I, like it was okay, but it wasn't great. And so I asked on Instagram if you guys had some tried and true crock pot hot cocoa recipes and you guys delivered. So many of you sent me recipes. So of course I looked into them just to see, you know, what was different about them than the one that I did. And the winning ingredient is condensed milk. It's like a can of, what is it called? Cream, it's not cream of condensed milk. Is, is it sweetened, sweetened condensed milk. That was the winner. Also some of them included caramel sauce. So I'm just saying, if you are looking for a crock pot hot cocoa, look no further than Pinterest. I wish there was like a way on Pinterest that you can rate things like other than to leave a comment, which I guess is their best way to do it. But you know how Amazon has the star system? That is very helpful, okay? So I will probably just due to the time crunch in the morning, I'll throw some hot cocoa in, but it will likely be the Swiss Miss because if you remember last year, Swiss Swiss was like buy one, get one free. So I stocked up, so I have so much of it. So I'm just gonna use like milk in the crock pot and then Swiss Miss. Sorry, I'm getting a ton of texts. I finally finished Christmas shopping last night. I say that, but there not there always like that one last person that you don't expect to show up or you haven't seen them in two years and all of a sudden you reconnect like the day before and you're like, hey, why don't you come on by? And then they bring you a gift and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't think you were gonna bring a gift, so like I don't have anything for you. Well, I always try to have something on hand to give them. Even this year, 90% of my people got gift cards. 90% of my family and I tried to make it personalized, but it's like, I, I had to let go of something, I, I just had to. And I feel, I personally, oh gosh, what is this? The worst, hold on, there's a way I can fix this. Doesn't really look that good anyway. Where, oh, see, I lost my scissors anyway. You're here, where you should be. No, it's on the All right, come on, we can do it. You know, is Kelly Clarkson the new Mariah Carey? I would argue yes. I don't know what I was just talking about. I am very determined to make this work and it's gonna look great. My three-year-old is definitely going to appreciate this. Gift cards, plants. Plants is a good one. I never, oh my gosh, never know what to give some people. Plants is always a win. Food, chocolates, something edible. Love that, socks, it's always great. White elephant gifts this year, surprisingly a hit. We had fun at our white elephant gift exchange 
It's always a dang good time. Oh my gosh, oh, one more. Thought I was done with one child. What's your favorite Christmas song? I don't know how to use this from this side. I guess you can't, you gotta use it from here. My favorite Christmas song. I don't have favorites, but I do love Michael Bublé. Kelly Clarkson is rising. Mariah Carey has seen her time, I feel like. I mean, that will always be a classic and a staple, but I am over it. Golden Girls should have released a Christmas song. I'm just saying, if an artist wants to stand the test of time, Christmas music. I am strolling through the grocery store the other day. You know who I heard? T Swift. Christmas T Swift. And Sing Happy Holidays. That's a classic. This is probably the worst wrapping job I've ever completed. Good thing no one is judging me. Do the Beastie Boys have a Christmas album? They should. I bet. The uh, Beach Boys, I bet they do. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? I really bet they do. Woo, I need more tape. Scotch is not holding up. Uh, okay, one child is done. I feel good about that. Also realizing I have four more children. <sighs> one child is easy. They only got two gifts. All right, this is double-sided, I almost forgot. Babies don't need much. If I could wrap myself in wrapping paper, that's really all he would want for Christmas. Uh-oh, what happened? Probably use your error. What is happening? There we go. Oh, I broke a nail. Nothing new there, dang it. I've been taking hair, skin, nails, but it's just, you know, I know it takes a few weeks to kick in. Anyway, I turned on a Hallmark movie the other night and fell asleep to it, because I am so determined to just watch a Christmas movie. So I turned it on, I was exhausted, probably got like, four hours of sleep the night before. You guys know how it is. Four hours of broken sleep feels like 20 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I turned on a Hallmark movie and man, I forgot just how amazing they are. So we don't have cable, but thankfully they do, I think the past couple of years they've been putting Hallmark Christmas movies on either Hulu or Netflix, maybe both, probably Hulu. But man, I really enjoyed it. The cheesiness of it, the horrible acting, the very extremely predictable script. <laughs> oh, I thought you were headed on a plane this morning. No, I realized what Christmas was all about and I just wanted to tell you I love you. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, you guys gotta see this wrapping job, it's miserable. Good thing Wolfgang does not know how to express himself. <laughs> Don't I have one more for him? Sure do. Oh, this will probably do the trick. Oh my gosh, there's a fly! There is a special place in my heart for Hallmark movies and unsolved mysteries. I feel like watching that as a child, I used to watch that with my dad. <laughs> like Saturday morning, most kids are watching Saturday morning cartoons and I'm watching unsolved mysteries with my dad. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that is where my true crime addiction began. I mean, it's good stuff, okay? It is good stuff. Now I listen to podcasts while I clean my house. Whatever it takes. Oh crap, I'm not writing his names on these. I'm the worst. All right, here we go. Now, oh crap, I didn't. Man, I bet you were telling me. I just wasn't listening. I didn't switch over the wrapping paper. That's okay, life continues. Looking good. A fa la 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 la. Tis the season and all that crap. Okay, Wentworth is next. I have a pile of his stuff. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I really like the outside of this too. So I am going to blaze through this as quickly as possible because the baby isn't gonna last much longer and I'm, I'm just really trying to get as much. Oh, was that enough? Oh, it, is, it was. Look at me, I'm a pro. I'm just wanting to get as much done as humanly possible. Oh, do you remember when they had gift wrap at like, um, you know, boutique stores? I'm sure they still do, I just don't shop at them. My mom was fancy, she shopped at them. Did I tell you I was not gonna talk? Well, have we met? Anyway, Bells is what I'm thinking of. They had their gift wrap station all year long. Even the mall, have you seen malls lately? Holy crap, they are deserted. Definitely not what they used to be. Uh, some malls are better than others though, I think, in terms of like the stores going out of business and you know, foot traffic and all that. We have a couple malls near us that are actually doing pretty well, but then I know in my hometown where I grew up, definitely a ghost town. 
Is that true with all malls? Is it sad to think that sooner than later, I would guess like 20 years from now, unless something changes, uh, you know, especially with online shopping. And you know what? I've mentioned this story before several years ago, but um, I must it must have been 15 years ago, maybe 16 because I was not yet married to Alex. And we were talking with my grandma and Amazon wasn't a thing yet, but online shopping was, you know, and she predicted it. She sure as heck did. She said, in the future, everyone's going to be shopping online. There's going to be, you know, uh, basically self-checkout everywhere. And boy, was she right. What a sad day. <laughs> a sad and convenient. Pros and cons, I guess. You know what I mean? But, man... That's wild to think that probably in 20 years, malls won't exist. And I will be very interested to know what they end up doing with the spaces. Like, what will malls turn into? Amazon warehouses, maybe? Maybe they're not big enough for that. I don't know. I hope they do still exist in some capacity because some of, you know, I mentioned some of the malls in my area are still hanging on strong, doing well. Um... One in particular is like very expensive. So it's like you buy one item from that store and you pay the rent for the month. So (laughs) definitely not a place I frequent, but uh, yeah, it's going strong. Anyway, uh, the kids are actually out right now looking at Christmas lights. Wolfgang is sleeping, so I'm staying home with him. But it's just such a lovely night to do it. There's a, you know, crisp in the air. They're going around. It really feels like Christmas. So I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and I hope your holiday season is going well. Let me know what your favorite part of the season is and if you're having a good one. I really hope you are because it's almost coming to a close but better things are coming too. We've got New Year, the New Year coming up. Do you make New Year's resolutions? I don't. (laughs) I always strive to be the best version of myself every single day, not just on New Year, but I know that, you know, come New Year, it's a it's a fresh start. It's a new beginning, that kind of thing. It's a great time to make resolutions and make goals for yourself, which is fantastic. I'm playing with this. Oh, gosh, did I break it? Of course I did. Oh, man, what if I twist it the other way? I'm sitting here playing with this nail clipper, and I'm pretty sure I broke it. It's fine. Well, it's not fine because it's my favorite one, but I think it's fine because I think I can fix it. We'll see. We'll see in a couple of seconds here. See if it tightens if I spin it the other way. Yeah, I think it's working. All right. Anyway, it took me two hours to wrap all of these gifts. Two hours here and there. Like I started, I had probably a solid hour to begin with. Maybe, I don't know. And then, you know, Wolfgang woke up. I had to tend to him and do all the mommy things. And then I you know, got a couple more sections broken up a couple of times. But altogether, I had two hours of footage. So I hope you're wrapping gifts and getting a lot done while we hang out together. That's always the best thing to do. If you're not wrapping gifts, man, what are you doing? (laughs) What are you doing? I hope you're uh, doing something fun. Okay, well, the jury's out. Oh, yeah, I definitely broke it. I need a hammer or something. Oh, man. These are my favorite. I've had these since Avelina was a child. They're like the Red Cross first aid nail clippers. They're perfection. All right, well, I'm going to have to find a new pair or see if Alex can fix them. He's more handy than I am, and that's saying a lot or not saying much. I don't know what the expression is. (laughs) I'm also interested to know what your favorite gift you've ever received was. I'd love to know that. As a child, mine was probably a bicycle. Ooh, and you know what? As a, I don't know if I was in middle school. Yeah, I think I was in middle school. Maybe high school, early high school, late middle school, seven, probably around seven. It doesn't really matter the details, but I got a camcorder. And man, did I bring that thing everywhere on bike rides to like cheer practice, brought it to football games. I was that person. I was the vlogger before YouTube existed and no one saw my videos. Thank goodness for that. (laughs) Let's just take a moment right there. Thank goodness no one saw the videos that I filmed. And I wasn't the only one. One of my best friends, she also, you know, asked for a camcorder one year and we both got one. Fantastic gift. Oh, man, the good old days, right? 
before the internet truly is existed the way that it does now. And you know, pros and cons, because encyclopedias, that's all I have to say, <laughs> okay? Anyway, yeah, my, my dad's like shaking his head, not, not in real life, but in my head, he's shaking his head. He's like, okay, well, abacus, I one up you there. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Oh, moving on. I wanted to share with you this like bag trick. So I, that's the second time that I did it and I had to YouTube it the first time I did it last year. It's when you have like oddly shaped gifts, but still want to wrap them. It's super simple to just make a bag out of wrapping paper Yes, I have bags and I could have gone downstairs and gotten one, but the wrapping paper hack is just too cool not to share. Oh my gosh, I feel like I am nearing the home stretch. I had to, I mean, it's been hours. I had to put Wolfgang back to sleep. I can't even believe it, but while I'm sitting here wrapping, trying to listen to Christmas music, I'm realizing every um, Christmas playlist I turn on either begins with Kelly Clarkson, Underneath the Tree, because that is a popular one these days, or Mariah Carey, of course, queen of Christmas. And you know what? I mean, it hasn't been that long since Michael Bublé has had his Christmas album out. Yes, I'm still thinking of Christmas music. But uh, he's become a holiday staple. I've even seen the memes like, oh, in October, November, beware, Michael Bublé, Christmas is thawing out. I don't know. I enjoy listening to Christmas music, especially early because I live in Florida and that's what kind of gets us in the spirit. It's not the weather, even though the weather, oh my gosh, it's like the first time it's actually gonna be cold on Christmas. We might be able to wear pants and not shorts. I say that as I'm wearing a sweater and light leggings and I'm sweating with my windows open. But I do love this time of year, having the windows open and like the crispness and there is a scent to it. There is a scent, it reminds me of the good old days. And I will tell you, Scotch versus uh, Target brand, huge difference, okay? I did tidy this place up. I finally got a garbage bag. I have one, one of these is open. I'm never gonna be able to find it. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I wrapped it the wrong way. What's funny is the amount of tape that I bought from Target, because can I tell you right now, I bought four rolls, maybe five, thinking, oh, it won't be enough. I don't know what happens. My kids get into the tape and then I never see it again. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck everywhere. Kimberly tape hands is what I am. Good thing this is quality wrapping paper and if tape gets stuck, like I was able to take the tape off of that, no trouble at all. Okay, thinking of Christmas and Christmas's past, I was thinking of last year, it was our first Christmas in this house. I was tired to say the least. And I don't know if I ever shared this with you, but Meredith is usually the first one to wake up. And normally she comes straight to our room to wake us up. And um, obviously Christmas morning, there's something new and shiny on our way, on her way to our room. And so she took a little detour and <laughs> decided to uh, start opening presents all by herself. Uh, of course, she had just turned two, so she doesn't know how to read. So she was just ripping stuff open. By the time I wake up and notice what's happening, I'm like, oh my gosh. It was definitely an experience, one that I will never forget. So that was that. Lots of emotions wrapped up in that. But thankfully, it was still very early. Like, I don't even think the sun was up yet. So I was able to fix the situation and no one was the wiser except for me of course sleep deprived and emotional and chaotic already so you can imagine Ooh, i can't believe we are nearing the end um i'm saving alex's gifts for um Aveline and eleanor want to help me wrap of course that's always fun and the kids always get sibling gifts for each other which is like i mean we're already peaking gift overload and that just sets us over the edge but i think it is important for them to learn how to be gift givers as well so we like to do that take them out you know one by one not only do we have that quality time with them but they're able to really pick out gifts for their siblings and they enjoy it just as much as their sibling there is this one fly that's been in here literally follows me around the entire house i don't know what it is maybe i stink maybe i need a shower this thing has kind of been driving me nuts there we go. Christmas is such a special time. Do you have any like specific Christmas memories that stand out more than the others? The first time uh, 
I spent Christmas with Alex. We started wrapping gifts for our family members at a table. We got everything out and we started wrapping and he manipulated me into thinking that he was a bad wrapper. Like he wrapped something on purpose horribly so I would do it for him. And so I sat there doing it for him and it wasn't a couple of years, it wasn't until a couple of years later that he was wrapping something and I was like, you did that perfectly fine. And he was like, yeah, I just wanted you to wrap them. I was like, what? So that tradition has continued. All right, I need to write a bunch of gift tags and then I will breeze through the rest for as long as Wolfgang is sleeping. Try to get the rest done as fast as possible. I'm also thinking about stocking stuffers and um, I'm not sure, like how much stuff do you put in a stocking? I don't know, like I feel like we have plenty, right? I mean, look, we have plenty. Um, I just wanna make sure each child has something special in their stocking because I've been pulling like the little items and putting them aside, so I think it'll be fine. I also, um, I went to Target last night, I think I told you that, but it was a madhouse and a half. The shelves were basically empty. The sales are already going on. I'm already seeing Valentine's Day stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, come on, just take a little break. There are no breaks in retail. Oh my God, I did it again. I'll just wrap again. You know, I think I jinxed myself in the beginning of the video when I stated, I'm definitely not gonna run out of wrapping paper. And that was definitely the case during this wrapping session. But as I turn to my right, I still see gifts that I need to wrap for family members, nieces, uh, nephews, cousins. I, I mean, I'm looking behind me. There's just so dang much. I need a water break. As a matter of fact, I hope you continue to hydrate through the holiday season and purify your soul because I'll tell you what, it's easy to neglect your nutrition this time of year. That's why New Year's is so important, uh, you know, to really focus on yourself and be better. I actually made a list in my phone of, uh, I don't know what I call it, self-care maybe. One of those things was finally getting to the dermatologist. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen that I went to the dermatologist lately, got a skin check, got a few things removed, uh, no big deal, you know, just stuff like that. It was, all the tests came back perfectly fine. Uh, just if you were curious and wondering, there you go. You don't have to wait any longer. But that was something that has, I, I've been putting on the back burner for almost a year, and really more than that, a couple of years since I've noticed these like things, right? And I figured, oh, if it was anything weird, they would have noticed during my pregnancies, but <laughs> everything was fine. Um, I, another thing on my list is to get new glasses. I have a couple pairs of glasses that I rotate between, and one of them, the le the yeah, the lenses keep popping out of them. It's horrible. And then the other pair that I have, you know, it's just I've had them for a couple of years, and it's time. I know some people who have like 10 pairs of glasses. I've been wearing glasses since I was literally a year old. Crazy, right? But there it is. And now when I see little ones wearing glasses, I just think it's the cutest thing. But also, I pray for LASIK in their future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good candidate for LASIK. Anyway, I don't know how we got off on this tangent. What is something that you would like for the new year? There's always so many things that I like to happen. I would also like to start going back to the gym, of course, uh, me and 99% of everyone else. But, uh, you know, it's been years since I've consistently gone back, obviously, because of the pandemic. And then I got pregnant and stuff. And all I hear are excuses. No, I'm just kidding. I just, I, you know, I just had to do my best to survive. And uh, here I am out on the other side of it. And I'd like to do that in the future because it, it really is the one time that I'm working on myself and I enjoy the most. So there you have it. There's mine. What's yours? Made it to the home stretch. The very last one for now. Of course, there's... Oh, did I... Oh man, well I left in a hurry. That's fine, I was actually looking for this for a while and I was like, oh, I guess I can't find it. So, I'm, I'm happy this is done. I haven't even counted. You guys like to make everything even between your children? 
I think it's like, oh yeah, even enough. Like I don't give them a certain amount or even a dollar amount. I just try to make things as even as I can without getting too specific. Oh, you know what we did this year? That was fun. We went caroling, kind of. There was a little parade in our neighborhood and we drove around, we decorated our car and We're lights and away. stuff. Oh yeah, okay. And then so we go around with our karaoke machine and uh, we go Christmas caroling with obviously our family, there's enough of us, but then also some cousins come with us and it's just a jolly good time. I feel like everyone else enjoys it. I feel like no one goes like door to door caroling like they used to. Well, did they used to do it or was that just a conspiracy theory that happens in the movies? I don't know. Either way, I think it'll be fun and exciting and the kids are really into it too. So I'm excited to do that, but that is it. Can you even believe it? I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed wrapping gifts with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm cleaning up in here, and let's be honest, this wrapping paper roll is probably going to outdo all of the gifts that I just wrapped.